I feel like he will change just the ad of just the attitude. It doesn't have to always be X's and O's. When we uh, when they signed uh, Mark Colombo, correct? When they brought Mark Colombo on, yeah. they said they didn't change a lot on uh, as far as the philosophy. It was the mentality. When they brought right. Chris Richard over, he didn't change a lot of things. It was his mentality that he brought over and changed the mentality of the team. When you have that, that changes the game as far as what you are doing as a whole when the mentality changes. Um, let's see. Um, with Jason Garrett, I mean, uh, Kitna, he probably was a big influence on Romo as well. Romo will probably have a lot of good things to say about him too because he was a backup there with Romo. And I liked Kitna when he came in as a quarterback, didn't you? Yes, I mean when he can't. I mean, think about it. He when was always he, he consistent. Was, he was the one that got probably Jason Garrett his job. Yeah, wasn't he the quarterback when uh, things were going bad and he went five yep. and three? It, it was sure John was. Kitna. It so was. it was John Kitna that saved Garrett because Kitna won a lot of those games because yep. we knew we had a chance. Because when you saw Kitna play, it wasn't that he was a great quarterback. He had that fiery attitude. Like right. you, you felt like you could win with him because he had smart. that. He was smart. And he had that attitude. You knew he was going to throw some interceptions, but you also knew that attitude. He could get the whole team pumped up, and that's what I loved about him. And I think that's what's going to carry over to the coaching realm. Yeah, because Garrett was, I think, on an interim basis he at was that on time. Interim basis, and it was yes. kind of an interview to see mm-hmm. how he was going to be. But And what what better way to win a job when you're winning with a backup guy? Right. What's up, Michael Lucefa? Appreciate you. Uh, we'll go ahead and jump right in then to um, another topic here that kind of transitions right into this. Uh, Gerald Crump says Chris Richard is the best for Dallas because he will make players accountable. Um, and I think Kitna will as well. I think so, a lot of the coaches there make people accountable. So Chris Richard will be returning. Yes. So how big is that? And obviously, that's huge. Did, 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 did no other teams want him, or what do you think happened there? Is Jerry just paying him more? Um, like, I definitely what? feel like he's going to get a pay raise. I just think it was a situation where, um, you know, he was a hot name. But you, let's be honest with you. A lot of people remember the last game he played, right? The last game that we played, it didn't leave a good taste in people's mouth, right? The defense got blew away. Uh, the uh, we had records set on us. So if you're a, a, a GM or anything like that, and you see a guy, you're thinking about getting him as your coach, and then you see that happen on the last game, they shouldn't hold that to you. But a lot of those guys do, and they're gonna remember your your last game. Now, Coach Chris Richard probably, if we went to the Super Bowl and won a Super Bowl, I think Chris Richard has a head coaching job. But because we lost to the Rams and the way we lost to the Rams, a lot of that hot fire that was on Chris Richard cooled a little bit. Yeah, I could agree with that. Just looking at the comments a little bit more before we move on. Raheem Scott, what's going on? I'm giving a few more shout-outs. Uh, Franklin Green, thanks for tuning in. Alfonso Sloan, Sidney Mansfield, 